Guys, for all the solutions of this book, visit forthesakeofeducation.com. I've been working hard of putting all the problems into one convenient place for you to be able to do your homework easily. So pay us a visit. All right, guys, this is a problem that says determine the components of reaction at the fixed support A. There's a 400, 500, and 600 Newton forces and are parallel to the X, Y, and C plane. So let's get to it. So it's sort of free body diagram and I always like to draw my my axes on the side. This is just a habit of mine that has helped me. I advise you to do it too, to always keep things in perspective because it can get messy. So at A, you, you know you have a reaction, a reaction this way, and a reaction this way. I always like to draw my reactions on 3D um, body diagrams towards the positive axes. That's why I like to draw this as a reference when I'm when I'm drawing it. And then then when I calculate them, if I get a negative answer, then I know it's going the opposite way. But it's always easy to keep things organized and from you getting confused. Now you know you also have moment reactions. Assuming always, um, well, this is convention, you don't have to, but I like to assume counterclockwise is positive because that's what the book does. Assume a reaction here. Okay, let's call this MX, let's call this MY, and then a reaction here, MC. So we have six reactions, six forces, I mean three forces and three moments. So let's get to it. Let's draw our neat little table which is AX, AY, AC, MX, MY, MC. Let's be neat. Now, we have uh, six variables and let's just start using our static equations to find them. And for this particular problem, I, I tell you, I'll give you, um, tell you from right now that you're going to have to use all six, but they're super simple. So let's start with the sum of the forces on the x is equal to zero. In the x, you see that you have a x going towards a positive axis minus 400 Newton force going towards the negative axis, the negative x axis. So a x is equal to 400 Newtons. And we found one already. Look at that. 400 newtons. Some of the forces on the y is equal to zero and is equal to a y going up plus the 500 newton force. So a y is going towards the positive y axis and the 500 newton force is also going towards the positive y axis. So if you solve for a y you get that it is equal to a 500 newton force, negative 500 newton force. So you know that it's going, that reaction is going towards the negative A axis. I mean the negative Y axis. Mess it up my letters, sorry guys. So sum of the forces in the C is equal to zero. And it is equal to AC, which is going up. And the 600 Newton force, which is going straight down. So if you solve for AC, this is equal to 600 Newtons. 600 newtons. Perfect. So now let's do the react reactive moments that are happening at that um, at that support. So some of the moments in the x is equal to zero. I like to assume counterclockwise is positive, and it is equal to the moment in the x, which is positive, is happening counterclockwise as I drew it on the free body diagram. Then you have the Moment B created by the 500 Newton force times 1.25. It's 500 Newtons times 1.25, and it's negative now. Let me tell you what I just said. This moment, I mean this force right here, is trying to turn the quote-unquote arm from this X that I just drew all the way down here to the origin A. So from the origin to that x there is 1.25 because it's 0.5 times 0.75 and it's trying to turn the whole axis clockwise therefore it's negative right but don't forget that you also have the 600 newton force okay the 600 newton force 
is trying to turn let me draw it right here it's trying to turn um, 600 newtons times 1 and it's also negative now let me tell you why that is because the 600 newton force is trying to turn this arm from here to here now let me tell you what I'm drawing this is the distance between where the forces apply and the X XC plane if you keep draw it that you have to use your 3d imagination to see it but the distance where the 600 newton forces apply and the XC plane is uh, 1 given right here and that's what it's basically trying to turn so if you solve for the moment in this equation you get that this is equal to 1 2 2 5 newton meters 1 2 2 5 newton meters perfect so assuming current clockwise is positive sum of the moments on the y is equal to zero and it is equal to the moment on the y the reactive moment on the y that we drew on the free body diagram now what is creating a moment about the y-axis you know that the 400 newton force times 0.75 is one why because it's trying to turn the arm from this x to the origin right and that distance is 0.75 and it's trying to turn the whole thing it's trying to turn the whole unit um clockwise so it's negative that's why it's 400 times 0.75 minus 600 times 0.75 now why 600 because the 600 force is also creating a moment about the y and it's trying to turn the arm from here to the x c plane so that distance right here is 0.75 given right here and it's negative because it's trying to turn the whole unit also clockwise so if you solve for my you're gonna get that this is equal to oops what did I do here this is equal to uh, 750 Newton meters perfect and last but not least oops let me write this down right here in a neat little table is equal to zero and look at this in the C you know that the 400 Newton force is not creating any moment because it's apl being applied right at the C the 500 Newton force is not creating any moment because it's coming right out of the C it's right on the CY plane and the 600 Newton force is not creating any moment because it's parallel to the C so there's nothing creating a moment about the c-axis so you know that the reactive moment all you have is the reactive moment that we drew on the free body diagram and the zero and that's it which means that the reactive moment of mc is zero there's nothing trying to turn it about the c-axis so final answer for ax a y a c the reactive moment at x the reactive moment at y and the reactive moment at c which it is zero